So I was playing around with some GPU overclocks this morning and noticed that Fedora 27 was officially released. Now I know that Fedora 27 beta and RC have been out for some time, but I like to wait to upgrade until everything is officially ready. Running Fedora 26 with GNOME version 3.24.2. So let's get the ball rolling and check for some updates. And while we wait for the updates to roll in, let's check out the release notes. Now I don't feel like the changes in Fedora 27 were quite as big as 26. They're upgrading a pretty fair amount of libraries like boosts and one of the bigger ones is they're not doing alphas anymore. Now I wasn't really big on the Fedora Rawhide or Alpha scene, so that doesn't really mean anything to me. Another interesting change that caught my eye was libcurl and Fedora currently uses NSS library and they're switching it to use OpenSSL. So yeah, not a whole lot of big impactful changes in this one. But GNOME Software is saying that Fedora 27 is now available, so let's dive in and download it. So like my previous Fedora update video, the goal here is not to have to change anything. I've got my NVIDIA drivers installed and everything else, and hopefully we won't have to change anything make it all work. One of the things I really love about Fedora upgrades is when you go to install them, it'll tell you if there's any incompatible software. In this case, NSS PIM is incompatible, and that probably has to do with that OpenSSL change that I was talking about earlier. Now, Fedora applies the upgrade when you restart and log into the next session, so let's do it. Now, this part is pretty uneventful and boring. It's just the Fedora logo with installing updates and a percentage at the top. You can hit escape and see a little bit more detail, but it's just installing stuff. So we'll fast forward to the good part. So we've made it to the login page, that's a good sign. So the message on top tells us that things have been installed, that's good. But when I went to the details section of GNOME settings, it says Fedora 27, but the graphics section is wrong. It looks like VMware is busted too, but I'll deal with that in a second. The big problem is that the NVIDIA drivers are broken. On the flip side, at least I have a display, right? A few years ago, if your display drivers shit out, you would just get a terminal and that's it. Now it looks like Fedora fell back to the open source drivers, which is good, but I need to figure out why the NVIDIA drivers suddenly stopped working. So as I was troubleshooting things, I managed to fix the VMware problem. I don't know what that X authority error was about, but if you tell VMware to compile the modules through the terminal, and then launch it, everything's fine and it never asks you to compile again. The problem with the NVIDIA drivers was a bit more obscure. I'm not sure why this wasn't a problem in Fedora 26, but Fedora automatically defaults to WLAN, and the NVIDIA drivers don't support WLAN. So when GDM starts, it recognizes that the NVIDIA drivers don't support WLAN, so they fall back to the open source drivers. Now if you modify the custom config in ETC GDM, you can tell GDM to not use WLAN, and that solves the problem, but I'm not sure what this regression is about. You can also just not boot into Fedora 27 and boot into Fedora 26 from your bootloader, but it seems like a very odd regression. At any rate, that's really all there is to say about upgrading to Fedora 27. Despite not being a sizable update, it had some weird issues that I didn't see in Fedora 26. I know that Linux and Nvidia, and to a lesser extent Fedora and Nvidia, have a weird relationship, but I'm kind of surprised to see an issue like this. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share it on all your favorite social networks. I appreciate your support, and thanks for watching.